let's go. We are here with Mo Eight O Fo. Peace. I'm about to ask him some questions. Now, Mo, we gonna get the obvious stuff out the way, all right? Let's start. Cause there's a couple things been going on in the streets. Number one, always. I was always talking, bro. I don't want to seem like I'm picking on the hot shots. Mm. You hear me? So what I'm doing is I'm trying to ask more people. So it's just not just. I don't have a problem with it. Let's get that out of the way. I don't right. think they're stealing or none of that. I feel like, you know, what I'm saying, get it how you live. You know, what I'm saying, I don't, I don't have no issue with it. But I was surprised and almost just taken back at how many truckers don't like it what's your view on it is is it a thing or are, are, are people overreacting first things first i don't have a problem with it you know people gonna get money how they get money i ain't i ain't never been that type of dude to knock anybody hustle so it definitely ain't that i don't have an issue with how anybody get down and get no bread it's enough bread for everybody to eat mm-hmm. regardless of how you how you striving to get it but I've heard the conversation of people saying that a hot shot uh, operation is trucking. Mm-hmm. And I guess in a way it is. You got dump trucks. You got, you know, different things can use the title of having a truck. And it is a truck. Mm-hmm. You know, there's work involved in it. And, and, and it's aspects of it that is trucking. Yeah. But the same trucking that I classify, my, classify myself as, I wouldn't classify a hot shot pickup truck pulling a uh, flatbed type of setup hauling things trucking I think it's the difference so if it ain't trucking what is it uh, it's delivery like to me it's no different than having a box truck hauling items and making deliveries that way you just hauling things like a UPS that, man I don't want to put them in that same box because there probably is a, a different level of skill. Mm-hmm. Just because you're talking about a a, 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 a hitch or, or so to speak, you're talking a combination about fifth wheel, that type of thing. So it's, it's, it's skill involved. It ain't exactly the same, but I think the high shot is box truck, but allows you to get a different type of material on it. It allows certain size things to be able to be hauled on it. Mm-hmm. But I, don't, I think if, if a box truck and a tractor trailer are the A and the B or the A and the C, then, mm-hmm. then, then a hot shot will have to be a B. It's in, the, it's, in, it's in the middle between box truck, moving truck type stuff and a, and a rig. But yeah. I wouldn't call it trucking. You wouldn't call it truck. No. All right. Well, you don't go out to push back on this, right? Well, hey, you always do. Now You're listen. the pushbacker. Listen, you... They're away from their family. Yeah. They're sleeping in a vehicle. Yeah. If they're over 26,000 pounds, they're, they are uh, following an e-log. Yeah. Uh, they're dealing with roads. Mm-hmm. They're going up mountains. Yeah. They're talking to brokers. Yeah. I mean, the only difference is what, that it's not classified as a semi-truck? That's it? Yes. And I would say... That's what separates. Because anybody that's into trucking, you're not driving a pickup truck. That's a different beast. Hmm. And you saying there ain't nothing wrong with it. It's no. just not the same thing. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it's hustling. And it's all hustling. That's how I look at a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't try to do the whole, you know, what, what is a, a real this or a real that. But... Since I'm being asked, I would say I, I don't look at hot shot setups as trucking. Mm. I just think it's a different. You're just jigging. You're just, you're just hustling on it. Just hustling. Yeah, I just think it's another tool to use to hustle, but I wouldn't call it trucking. trucking. I don't. I mean, do you have to go to school? Is it the same thing? Like, see, y'all, y'all go into the questions though. Well, I don't know. Because I feel like that's 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 the common that's what, the that's the thing. That's why I gotta get some hot shots up here. I gotta find some hot shots to say their size. That's why I, I think this is my third question about it, and I'm not gonna ask anyone else about it. And I'm gonna get the hot shot, the three hot shots to come up here, 
and say how they feel. Because there is certifications and things you need that's required to drive a semi truck that you don't need to drive a pickup truck with a tow hitch. I mean, they got fifth wheels, but yeah, I see what you're yes. saying. Yes. I mean, but, and just like any of it, it can be taught. Yeah. Somebody, I can teach a teenager to drive a semi truck, but are there the same, are there age restrictions to driving a hot shot? Uh, I mean, if they got a license, they can drive one. Right, but that rule don't apply to a semi-truck. So how do you feel about them making more money than us? What did you get the, what did you get the certification for if a dude can just hop in the pickup truck and make more than you? What was the point of getting the certification? You might as well just hot shot it off the jump. Well, you know, I, that I, I, I wouldn't know. Because I, I can't sit here and say they make more. I, I don't know. Yeah, I've never checked into high shot stuff. According to the stuff that I looked into and the people who have chimed in on what we're talking about, they do make more than us, dude. So did you Just take... Just per load, is, is it pays more? Uh, I've or heard they... some people say that it evens out just like anything else. And I've heard some people say they make more. Or if they make the same, that's more because they're dealing with less stuff. So right. they're pretty much making the exact what you're making around what you're making with less BS. Then I say uh, you went the wrong way. You should have went that way. Congratulations. So would you, if you knew now, would you have went in the hot shot instead of trucking? Probably not. Why Probably not? Because to me, it's I think driving a semi truck is is something. I can just say masculine because a lot of women do it, but it's it's, it's a certain Bravado. power. It's a certain thing about pulling up in a rig that I don't think, I don't know, but I don't think you get the same feeling driving around in a pickup truck. Mm. It's just different. Because duly or not, it's, it's, it's a pickup truck. I mean, <laughs> you, can, you, you, you can disconnect that and go get a load of mulch. Like It's the same thing. It's yeah. no, it's, it's, it's no different. Not to me. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, you know, since I got but you. But don't knock them. Like I said, it's, it's all Yeah, it is, there's no knock to me. Everything is exploration. It's understanding. It's, it's knowing. Don't we want to know everything? Yeah. We should. Yeah. We should strive But through. since I got you, I'm going to dig into more than just hot shot. You do know that, right? It is what it is. The dichotomy, the understanding of marriage. Okay. Now that I got you here. Right. right now I right. asked BY3 this. I'll be dropping this video later on. And BY3, he said, what up? He, said uh, he made marriage an age thing. Like he said, you should just do it. Wait till you're older to do it. Don't do it if you just get in the game. He said, if you get in the truck and don't get married. Now you are married, right? I uh, just celebrated 10 years. My condolences. What I will say is this <laughs> you're married in the game. Do you suggest the young bucks to get married in the game? Because when you first got out here, you was out here butt naked. You ain't had no old lady ball and chain when you first got out here. What's the? Di- oh no, that's a good question. I was what married. is the difference of riding free alone and, and and riding with your old lady? What's the difference? Uh, solitude. Dun dun dun. Uh, She's annoying, is what you're saying. Um, people can be, but have, <laughs> but. I'm, I'm just put, the, put it in a narrow perspective, uh, having a, uh, anybody share space, but when you talk about someone who has intimate knowledge of you, that knows you, it can, it can, uh, bump it, it, it can bump be head. borderline intrusive. So y'all, y'all have gotten, gotten fall, knocked down fallouts on the truck? I can say knocked down fallouts, but it, it's, it's been some door slam, it's been some, uh, uh, you ain't going nowhere. Like, get back in this truck. Where you, where you going? <laughs> hey, was you following yeah, her like back in the day? It's, it's after midnight. Like, where you going? We in the truck stop. Like, where you going to go? Where you going? <laughs> you better close that door. That type of thing. No. It's, it's it, 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 see, it can happen. Uh, see, like Lenox say, I'm not going to say me going to do it. I can't do that, dog. See, for, for me, when I get in that truck and I hit the road, that's me time. I Sometimes I draw, drive with the balls out. Like, I don't want no one in my truck. I'm messy. Let's get that out the way. Everybody knows this. I'm messy. Mm-hmm. I'm irritable. Yeah. I, and when I want to get the load there, I don't care about cleaning up. I don't care about none of that. It's all about load time. 
And one thing I don't like about having uh, chicks around when you're handling business is the waiting. Like, I was editing with somebody, right? right. And this pissed me off. That's why I like to edit alone. Okay. So I'm writing this stuff in. It's their video that they shot, but I'm editing it up for them because they don't understand the game yet. So I'm, I'm handling business. And where the music set, they wanted to put like a semicolon or something. And they okay. said that that means it's presented. That fired. Do you understand how mad I was? The fact I don't know what it was. It just it made me so mad. I literally so to give suggestions about some of your creation. I just wanted to elbow him in the face. Like I was so angry. <laughs> like you know, what I mean? I'm irritable like that. Can you imagine being in the truck with me? It could be something as small as, "Did you weigh the truck?" That's a knockdown, drag out argument to me. Just being questioned. Period. Yeah, I feel you on that. But you, I tolerate it. You locked down all day. Yeah, it's, it's, I, 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 How do you handle? I don't tolerate my woman, but I tolerate the fact that we occupy a truck together. But we probably both do. If you ask her, she'll probably tell you somewhat. Oh, I plan thing. on asking. Trust. I'm sure. I plan on asking. But I think you first asked, asked was, uh, do I recommend young people even get married? Getting married in, 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 in context of trucking, like before they go out or like, because you were out here without your old lady for a minute. I did six months solo with, with, on a truck by myself. Yeah. I took her out for a month, but for the most part, six months dolo. Mm. And it was great. Dun, dun, dun. I, I enjoyed it, but I, it, was, it was times where it was lonely. lonely. I've heard you speak of, of uh, loneliness on the truck and just after being out so long, there is a, I'm trying to think of the term you use, but there's a, a almost, that solitude can, can possibly bring on elements of depression and, and just things of that nature, just because we, as people, I think, are communicative to a degree that yeah. you almost need. Yeah. To be able to interact. It's why chimpanzees groom. It's, it's, it's affection. It's touching. Right. So, I mean, so I, I, but I guess that's when you schedule the home time and you go home or go around whomever and get, get yourself that a little hot off, pocket where you that, can get it. Yeah. yeah. Get, that, get that off you and then you step back out there and. and now I don't do that because I'm celibate. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, some right. dudes, they need to do that. See, me, me, me being celibate is actually a mental exercise that cats is too small in the brain to understand why. You see what I'm saying? But, but. I thought they just called you gay, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty much, I'm celibate, but I'm doing dudes. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. But the point is this. I stay celibate because when you're taking in all these innocent, you married, so you don't have this issue. But when you're taking in all these, women store energy in the hot pocket. You understand? If you are dipping your croissant, right, in different butters, you're getting different energies. I agree. You combine these energies, it can cause chaos in your aura and your, your feng shui. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's what was my cleansing point for me to stay focused, which is why a lot of dudes can't stay focused, which is also a reason why a lot of dudes don't really get to their money apex until they're in their 30s, where our T count drops and we can start thinking. See, I'm, 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 I'm deeper agree. with it. I'm deeper I with it. I'm deeper agree. with it. But that's still, with, with, with that, you have to not take in those energies like that. If you if you dip it in the, in, in the butter, bro, you're taking in the energy. Maybe so, but there's a way. There's a way you can deal with that. I mean, cause that's how I think one of the powers that men have is that we don't have to. Even if even if the energy enters, a man can separate the emotion. I disagree. Okay. Okay. You may not be emotional to that person. When I say energy, it's it's subconscious. It's not. It's not. It, it can be energies. Some some cultures called it called it uh, deity demons. It, it auras. It follows you around. So let's say you got a bad chick, right? Yes. I, I get. I give a. That was cute. I give a. She's let five. Me a, let me get a wink. She's five eleven. No, you already in the hole from the stuff you said before. Ain't no point in I winking ain't now. Ain't no hole, bro. <laughs> okay. You, you ten years. He ain't gonna man. be able to come outside later. But anyway, the point is this. You dip it, she 5'9", all the right stuff you like, freak, all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But it's chaos all in the spirit part. Then you got a chick who's more wholesome. Then you got a chick who's 
whatever, chick with daddy issues, chick with trust issues. Once you mix that all up, that's the, you can't duck them auras, bro. Even if you're not taking in the, inf you're saying they can't influence you, but that's like mentally. I'm talking about just the, the juju. You're not ducking the juju is what I'm so saying. Most, most women individually have every element you just said. I don't know a woman that don't have that. I've, met I've never few. met. I've never met a woman that that you've never you met a woman without long enough. Every every element you just named, she gonna have it in some form or fashion. So you saying you never met a woman without daddy issues? To a degree, yeah. Just cause that you was from Richmond, right? So definitely, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There is a lot of black women out well, here without I daddy mean, issues. For real, I mean, if I think back to my younger years, I don't even remember most females or girls even having a, a man in the house. That's sad. Very. That's, that it is was good. sad. But yeah, it was good on your being behalf being at the time. Now I'm thinking back. Yeah. That's sad, ain't, bro. Ain't too many, won't too many pops around like that. So, so you date white women too? I never have. Okay. So you're exclusively... I've, I've, I've uh, is it croissant? What is that? What did you just name? You just said, you just said a croissant and butter sauce? <laughs> So you, you've mixed, you've did with some mixed ones. I've, 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 uh, I, 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 I've dipped crab leg in, in, the, in the garlic and butter sauce before of, of a uh, Caucasian female. Of a Caucasian female. Yeah. Okay, and, but what I'm saying, since you're exclusively have only, not saying you wouldn't, you only have dating black women. Yes. You probably was running, and a certain poverty line when you were younger. Absolutely. You were running into daddy issue after daddy issue after daddy issue. The most so part. if you round here giving them the sweet ding ling or whatever you was doing, you see all them different chaos energies you was taking in? Yeah, that's How was your thing. decision making during that time? For myself individually, I, I was I was all right. I mean, I, I, my, <laughs> my issues never was, was with dealing with females. My, my issue probably was just overall peer pressures or just trying to be, be somebody that I may not have been or, or, or just being a follower. But when it came to females, no, that that was probably the easiest, easiest aspect or element of my life. How many times have you been in therapy? Uh, probably professionally, never. I can tell. Never. Because what you're saying, you're not, you're not saying what I'm saying is not true. You're saying that you never acknowledged what I'm saying. I guess that could be right. You're not saying that because if you if you think back. When you were going through all these times, you're like, why is everything just going the way it's going? You never sat and acknowledged that. And then once you, then you'll hear cats say something like this. When I got married, things just got calmer. It didn't just get calmer because out of nothing. It's because you're dealing with one type of aura. You're affecting one type of person. You're not out here slut thotting all up and down the hood. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, of course, your stuff is getting calmer. You're getting more centered. You're, 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 um... Your priorities are aligning. Right. You see what I mean? I can see that. Can That's see what that. that is. But see, we don't, we don't teach this type of stuff because we so macho. It's just like, get all the cheeks you can get. No, you need some cheeks. First of all, if you're doing bad in life, you don't need cheeks. I hate when they do that to me. Yeah, I agree. You need to go get some cheeks. So I need to go get an 18-year bill because I'm feeling bad. Right. Like, that makes no sense. Like, I, 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 I never chased women. I just, I just never have. Like, I don't, I don't think... It ain't too many women I've ever even approached, like, in the club. Like, I've never been that dude. Any woman I've ever dealt with was always some kind of way in a, in a circle of mine, and we interacted, and I could just tell she was feeling me, and I either chose to deal with it or not. So you're an opportunist? I probably looked at it or, or, or went about it that way. But i never seen a girl and was like, I'm a bad girl. I'm going to go I, It never happened for me like that. I could always tell who was on it. Cause it was simple, it was easy. You know what I mean? Like, she on, like, you already know. Like, you, you, at least for me, I don't know about other dudes. I don't know how y'all, I, I don't know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But I just never, I never had to approach women like that. Mm. I could always just tell. They just came up with the somebody was on it, and, and I could either to decide you. if I felt like dealing with her or not. Mm. So that's kind of how, that was, even my wife, like, it wasn't, a, it was almost, Preset up to a degree. Oh, let's talk about that. So basically, Divine was on it. Like, you didn't have to say nothing. Well, there's a whole story behind how she and I did meet. <laughs> mm -hmm. But 
it was no thing where we... You didn't go up and try to holler at her? No. I was almost... Um, someone mm. almost attempted to arrange her and I to meet. Mm -hmm. And we hit it off. So like a blind no date that, type situation? Kind of, sort of. I mean, I had already knew her. We worked in some... That's why I say it's still about people being around me because... Yeah place where she worked, I had to visit that place on the regular. Mm -hmm. And then a co-worker of hers that I already knew because I had been going there before she even started working there. Mm. So we got inter introduced that way and we just hit it off. But it wasn't no thing where I just seen her and tried to go hard. I've never been the, the game guy. I don't have game and all that kind of stuff. Or at least never had to exercise it. Well, I, I, I can see that. So basically she was on it. Like That's just what it was. Yeah, we can say that. You can, yeah, you can say that. You can say that. So when you met her, what what did she look like? She was attracted to you. I just talked regular and then dipped. Or? Yeah, we 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 talked we talked regular. You would see her she, at she the told job. Me what, her, what her story was, and she was interesting to me. She was completely different than any woman I had met prior. Mm. Like I guess me living a certain type of life. Yeah. I attracted or dealt with yeah. a certain type of woman, and she was completely contrary to any and all of that. And after meeting her, where I normally could say, okay, I'm getting tired of you. Yeah. I didn't feel that way with her. She didn't piss me off after a few weeks. Mm, so you I, was dealing with bodies, weren't you? Hot I, ratchets. I, 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 had, I had an eye stable, <laughs> like, as we used to say. You had some blue wig weaves in your joint, dog. You had to. Probably, probably, Chinese, probably a few. Chinese stole slipper joints, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, the Chinese joint yeah, with the flowers uh, on the yeah, flat. I, I, I probably, that's probably a few. I mean, hey, they, they out there. The color so stitching. It, it, just depends, it depends on what I was, what I felt like. Uh -huh. I felt like at the time, man. I, you know, I, I had intellectual and I had all that kind of stuff. But it was something about her that was completely different. And you was, you was with it. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't meet her until I was 32 years old either. Mm. So I'm sure that had a lot to do with where I was. Where you, you were looking for something different than you was at 22. Because right. my 20s, or even my teens, yeah, I, I was wide open. What do you, well, I bet you you was. You're a Richmond cat. I already know yeah, what it I is out there. Up, but, so if, a, if one of your children come up to you at 19 and say, I'm in, in love, I'm going to marry him, what would you say to him? No. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. Just, I, I, I just wouldn't. But you know, they, they at that age, they know they're in love. Like, you can't tell them Yeah, nothing. I know. I know. I'd say no. Don't do it. But or at least I would suggest you don't do it. Just because I, I don't think, I don't think you've had enough experiences at that age. Like, I was looking at some last night that said, even at 16, your view of yourself at 16 is you're grown. But when I think now, and I see my 16-year-old daughter. Infant. It's like, yo, so for real, we were, we were, Rack it was bad. 